Let's talk about Mark Fisher. <sighs> Particularly a lecture that he gave in 2011, I think. 2009, 2011. Called The Slow Cancellation of the Future. Which I think was focused on his book, um, Ghosts of My Life, which is, I don't have, but I do have Capitalist Realism. I haven't read it yet, but when I do, there will probably be video content about that book on the channel. So stay tuned, probably, I don't know, like around the summertime or something for that one. Um, but in this lecture, he talks about a lot of things that are very prescient to our times especially especially in like covid times i feel with the world of zoom and fucking online school and online work and online world it seems like this this sort of bifurcation of the world into the internet space that's sort of forced by these crises um i think it matters according to that because he t he talks about the the sort of like the hell of the email world and the fact that back like in in earlier times in recent history people were not constantly checking to see if they got a letter in the fucking mail like maybe you get one like once a week or something but like it wasn't it wasn't this constant um, communication that is sort of imposed upon all of us. And he talks about the emergence of the email world and the, the fact that, like, even just, like, very short while ago, relatively in history, people used to go into the school to check their email. You didn't check your email at your house, you know? But then, now, it's like... You're constantly being emailed. You're being emailed a hundred times a day. You're like, you're you're constantly being bombarded with communications. And Mark Fisher makes the point that for Deleuze, um, every communication is on some level it's a command. So you're constantly being bombarded with commands. And even if you don't respond to the command even if you don't obey the command you're still you still have to deal with the constant bombardment of the stressor of the command like and there's a whole realm of enjoyment that gets displaced by this by this dynamic there's a whole realm of like feeling that gets drained by this dynamic of constant bombardment of commands in the form of communications. And so, like, like, and he, he even says this, which is literally, like, I know exactly what he's talking about because if you do this, you feel this way. He says you, can, you can't even fully enjoy a piece of theory that you're reading because, like, I'm reading through... Uh, Last time I was reading through Anti Oedipus, I'm making my progress through it, and then I ch I check my phone to tweet or something, and y you can literally feel you're enjoying the theory less, slightly less than you were before. You're slightly less engaged in the theory just by virtue of the fact that you just checked your phone again, again, for the thousandth time that day. You checked your phone. Which just fucking drains you of the enjoyment that you could be having. Participating and really engaging in a physical activity like that. Like reading a book. Like reading a fucking book in your hands. You know what I mean? And, like, he talks about how, like, 
there's an impact upon the human nervous system by this these technological advancements that wasn't there before it wasn't there before so it's like there's it's it's kind of no wonder why my generation is so depressed and anxious when you think of it in these terms because it's like we're constantly being bombarded with commands we're constantly expected we're constantly under the barrage of information and like that's 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 where our world is at right now it's online it's on the internet that's where the world takes place you know in a very big way especially now like i was saying before And you can tell when you listen to him, when you listen to Mark Fisher talking, and you watch his lectures, you can tell, like, he's lived through what he's talking about. Because of his, like, nervous, anxious demeanor and mannerisms. Like, you can tell that he's lived through what he's talking about. And he's just writing out his, his, his own, like, lived experiences. Because he talks about how, like... He lived a lonely life of just fucking academic work constantly. And that's like the key connection that I feel like you have to make with this. Because he talks about it as like, you can't, we don't want to go in a technologically reactionary direction with it. And we don't want to go in a Nick Land direction with it either, you know? Um... So I think I think the key connection you have to make is you have to connect it to the work apparatus. You have to connect it to capitalism and make that critique. Because like it wouldn't be all that it wouldn't be so bad without all these institutions. And the the administrative bureaucratic state apparatus and all of that shit. Like that you almost have to get Foucauldian with it. You have to like combine Mark Fisher with Foucault to kind of get and then circle it all the way back into Marx. Like that that's like that's like a project that I think would be really interesting for me to sort of like try to take on is that kind of a synthesis because it's like that's that seems like a really good critique of society as we know it right now. So I might develop something out of that. But I am still trying to work through Deleuze's stuff, which takes takes time. It takes time to digest anti-Oedipus and really, like, engage with it on the level where you can actually understand it. 